All right, what's up, y'all? It's your boy, Mike Rashid and the Queen Raker. Yo, so check it out. So today is day 15, and I started out <laughs> my squat day with bench press, of course. Um, when Sim and I get together, you know, we create magic. We make it happen. We push each other. That's the magic I'm talking about. Um, it's no different than when Big Rob and I are training together or CT training with us. You know, you get with a legit training partner, they push you, you push them. That's how we do it. And also, you know, there's nothing wrong with having fun during your session, all right? This is a lifestyle for us and for you. So you want to enjoy it, you know? Work out with people that you like to work out with. You know, it, it helps, you know, build a deeper bond, tighter relationships, you know what I mean? Training, training, people don't realize training is a legit, it's a huge part of your life if you do it every day, you know? And this is something that you want to do, implement in your life and do every day because you know, over the years of me helping people, training people, a lot of people that I would get, their doctor was making them come get a trainer because they were so sick. And it's really hard when you get to that, when you get that far out, not being in shape and advancing in age and deteriorating your health, it's really hard to adopt this lifestyle. It can happen, but it's really difficult. So it's best to stay in it, get in it now while you're young. Um, but if you're older, still get in it. It's just, it's nothing but good habits that you're, you're going to adapt and add to your life. So, and you can make it fun. You don't have to be miserable. If you don't like lifting weights, if, it, if it's painful or whatever, you could do something else, you know, play racquetball, handball, basketball, swim, bike ride, cycling, Zumba. Like Zumba. I love Zumba. <laughs> I'm a Zumba champ. Y'all didn't know. But anyway, do something that's fun. But anyway, let's get into this workout. Yeah. Um, some of the questions we actually got on the last video, one of them was should they touch the um, bra on their chest? Mm. I've always thought yes, 100%. Mm. Like, that's a full range rep. Touch yeah. your chest before you press up. What's your take on it? I agree. Um, now, I also use my base my standard off of like a powerlifting meet, yeah. so, and that's a proper rep. Oh yeah, of course. Um, and there's even a pause with the powerlifting. Exactly. Right? How long is that pause? It's short, yeah. but it is a pause. They want to make sure there's no momentum. Yeah. So what we be doing, what we're doing typically is is touch and go. Yeah. Which there's meets for that. Yeah. But the ones that count count is yeah. the, the slight pause and go. And if we was training for a meet, then yeah. that's how we'll be that's doing our, we do. our our sets. Sure. But if you don't touch, some people don't have the range of motion. I get that. If you don't, if you go wider, you might be able to get it, but some, it still works. From the comments, I saw some people have been told that it's actually harder if they don't touch their chest, which for me... I can see that though. I can see it, but, but for me, if it's, the range rep is to touch the chest and press up. Man. You gotta think about this. Harder in a sense that it's kind of like in a dead stop in the yeah. middle, but yeah. full range is, is more range. Yeah. It, that's. That's inherently more work. It's more work. But there's people, I know people that don't go all the way down and they still I mean, can build the chest. That don't do it on um, incline. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, that's, it's harder to get there, but. I still go down. Yeah, I go down, I go down. If you can go down, I would say go down. Yeah. But, but the argument that it's harder not touching your chest, I don't really buy that. All right, so we start now light as we typically do with the warm-ups, being aggressive through the warm-up, just like you had the heavy weight on, your, uh, on the bar. Respect the bar at all times, all right? How you practice is how you're gonna play. So just because there's no weight on the bar, doesn't mean you don't respect it and, and practice like a days ago. So go hard just like there was heavy weight on the bar. That's the first rule to success with a bench press. First of all, this is, we're just exercising, right? We're not preparing for war, right? right? We're not Spartan training, you know what I mean? We're exercising, keeping our bodies fit, healthy. Which one you got? Okay. So, this is something that we both agree that you should adapt and make it a lifestyle to really have longevity. So with that being said, you should enjoy it. You know, you should enjoy it. Like, these guys that go to the golf, cor golf course with their buds and they have a fucking ball. This is the same for me, you know what I'm saying? But we get more out of it, I think. Always right? said that training is just fun. It should be fun. Always, yeah. That perception of hardcore, angry, mm, that's, we laugh at that shit. 
that's not the, that's not the vibe. You know what I'm saying? The vibe. This is life. We only live once. Enjoy that shit. And we do this every day. So why not enjoy it? All right. All right. So after 225, I usually jump to three plates. But um, today is chilly. You know, I don't know what's happening in Southern California. You brought the Canadian coal out here or something. <laughs> I had to. It needs to go back, but you stay. It go, <laughs> but you stay. But anyway, uh, I just needed more time to warm up. So I put a quarter on just to touch it at 275, just to make sure I'm nice and warm before I start advancing into the heavy, heavy weights. You know, I got a locker full of shit at Equinox still. <laughs> oh, yeah. Do you ever get your, do you have a locker over there? No, I never oh, okay. I bet he's going to the changing room, man. Yeah, I still don't have my shit. I got an email from them. I think they about to open back up. I'm like, fuck y'all now, that's... You know, they could have opened with everybody else, but they didn't want to because of the limited capacity. It wasn't worth it financially to them. That's kind of rude. They got money. Saw 315 moved. He was okay, right? Now, as we advance, I want y'all to watch how 315 moved when we come back down the pyramid, all right? All right, but anyway, from here, we're going to 365. Let's have it. Now from 365 is a judgment call. Do you go 405? Do you go 415, 425, 430? What do you do? Uh, we said 425. Uh, as you can see here, I didn't hit the that particular rep. Um, Sim grabbed it, but I had it, but it doesn't matter. Uh, sometimes with me, if y'all know, my first rep is shady as hell. That's just how it is. You know what I'm saying? I move real slow, which is really wasting a lot of energy, but you know, I've had injuries before on the bench, so it's it's psychological in my mind. I'm just like moving real slow, you know what I mean? So, but um, I was gonna go for it again, but right at the moment, I'm like, ah, eh, it's cool. No ego at all. So I rack it and we'll come down and finish the workout. I didn't wanna burn myself out doing 430 for two, so, or 425 for two. So, you know, uh, lose that battle to come back for the war. You see here we're going to do a pause rep so a pause rep now we do pretty much what's called considered touch and go pretty much every day when we're training right hit the bar hit your chest boom 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 right now there's momentum helping with those reps it is what it is i'm not going to front like it's not a little bit of a bounce is helping as well but this is so you can see that the power is there so don't get it twisted we sit it on our chest and then we explode up that's how you know you got the power to do that shit. So don't be bouncing it if you can't pause it, all right? Because pausing is a true measure of power. All right, so now we got the pause rep out the way. Let's get a couple more reps of 405 because it don't, it don't matter how many reps we do when we're coming down the pyramid. We're going to the max, okay? So this is a working set, so we're going to get as many reps as we can at 405. If it's three reps, if it's two reps, if that's all we got, that's a legit set, okay? No different than doing 15 and you're done, right? The, the number don't matter. It's just you getting to failure for you. So it's all relative to your where you're at, your strength, your uh, level of fatigue that day, et cetera, et cetera. So we both uh, burnt out on the 405, and that's what we got. Okay, now we get to have fun. We get to have our cardio set, the fatality set. We burning out. 315 is typically heavy weight. You seen coming up, it was, okay but coming down it's going to feel like cake you know what i mean so that's the whole magic about this you come to the top of the pyramid you hit that heavy weight when you come down 
what was going up don't feel the same. It feels a lot lighter. So that's when you execute. And you, this is the phase that when you're coming down the pyramid, that's when you're building muscle, you're building size, okay? When you're coming up, you're developing strength. You're locking that power in. So, but you need both. Some people, there's people that only go for one side on either side, but you wanna be a complete package. You wanna be as strong or stronger than you look. That's, that's, that's the goal for me. So 315, we had fun with that one. That was a cardio set. out the way now uh i'm gonna go into day 15 of squats um this weekend was shitty as hell i just wasn't feeling it i actually took one day off which will be day 14 so you won't see a video for that but 13 are probably in here throw 13 in here as well maybe at the end of this but 13 i only got the four plates could i've done more yeah but i really felt like i didn't want to do it i just didn't as i was going uh up my body was like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I was like, let's go. My body was like, no. So I racked at four, I did four or five, racked it and that was it. So, but today I felt great. I was energized. Um, that little day off gave me all the, the rest that I needed. So I went up to 525, even after a legit heavy bench, bench press workout. So um, y'all can watch the progression. It was fun. I love what I do, you know what I mean? So you gotta make, you gotta find a way to have fun with this. You know, I be blasting the music. I can't hear it all the time in here because they demonetize it and restrict the countries that can, that can see your, your content. But I love to have the loud music, you know, being here with my friends, having fun. You know what I'm saying? That's what it's about, all right? Uh, a lot of y'all keep asking about the Kufayas, you know what I'm saying? Like, what's that about? What do you, where do you get it? Hold tight, I'm working on it. Finishing up my site, that part of my site, but I'm bringing it to y'all. This is from the ancestors, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I know you're used to seeing like pretty much Middle Eastern people wearing it. Those are my brothers too. But we used to rock it in Africa as well and still do. So um, I have right though some pictures in here of some of my my grandfathers and great grandfathers rocking it, keeping the sun off of the uh off of the dome piece. But this is a crown. So I got a king gotta wear his crown at all times. So if y'all kings, y'all gotta rock y'all crowns, all right? I have a link for y'all real soon. Anyway. Shout out to my boy Simeon Panda. We always make it happen when we get together and just have dope workouts. So uh, we did some questions earlier, but I want y'all to go ahead and shoot below what questions you want us to tackle on the next video and we'll, we'll answer them in the video. All right? I'll holler at y'all later. Peace.